Oh wow, all this time I was looking for Punko Punko and see these little squash stools, it's right here. Today I'm having Punko Punko, which is literally the squatting style street food of Cebu. Finally did it. Just walking down the street and I found some punko punko. Deep fried foods, assorted liver, pork, pork, more pork. Look at this cute little cherry garden. Yeah. Best accompanied with this lemon drink or a Mountain Dew. Plastic bag for your hands available everywhere. So what I got today is Sumai. Again, the Filipino version, I've tried it a few times. I got this orange thing, which is like an egg skin, or skin chopped up, spring rolls. I'm gonna have the detox afterwards, and of course, the soul. Hanging rice. Deep fried pork, I mean, it's always good. I'm not even sure what part of the pig it is but it's good, really good. In fact, I wouldn't even dip it in any sauce. It's gonna make it saltier. It's salty enough already. Of course, one million Scoville peppers. I think I'll pass. And do my, let's see if it's, this one doesn't look like it's deep fried. Well, I think the my out here, it's made from beef, not pork. It tastes very different. Plastic bag's so useful. I know it's kind of bad for environment, but if you got no way to wash your hands out here, it's, it's like pretty desirable. Same with my um, plastic wrap plate. Like if they wash dishes with uh, water here, it's probably gonna be unsanitary and you might get sick, so. Ta-da, I got a new hand wrap. So bad. Oh, and I just touched the ground there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll just not waste plastic and use the other corner. I gotta admit the pork is good. It's not chicharron, so it's not so like a sponge of oil. It's still oily, it's dried and crunchy. Some other stuff you might find out here would be pancreas, liver, brain. The last item I haven't tried is this greasy spring roll. So the outside crunch and then the inside, I couldn't bite through it. It's like, it's got nothing in it. It's like a spring roll of nothing with something really dense and chewy on the inside. Can't say that I love it. Even the siumai, I like it, but I, it's a little salty. I think siumai with um, the onions and without so much shrimp paste on top, it works really well for me. It looks like a lot of work to make these puso every day. Just hanging rice. This is a messy, messy affair. But it is a Cebu thing. I have friends who live outside of Cebu and they told me they come here just to have punko punko. That's gonna chip my teeth. I stay with the chewy part. Oh, that would be so good with beer. Oh, stuff's so salty, being so thirsty. I gotta get another one of these. Grab more onions, and I got one of these—a meatball. This one just showed up. Pork and a lot of bread filler, but yummy. Not too salty. 
In fact, this one I might consider dipping in the soy sauce. What's really surprising is that even though I'm not bored by this food, it's this joint here, it's just across the mall, which has a plethora of food shops in the mall, just two minutes across. I just have to cross the street and I'm at the mall. And yet, Filipinos choose to come here. It's probably a combination of being fast, comfort food, something that you're familiar with, be cultural, and it's probably really, really cheap. So my advice is if you try this, make sure you get a lot of onions because it's pretty oily and onions really help. Same with the rice. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for this cute little mangy dog. I think I'm gonna buy him a meatball. I'm gonna buy him a meatball. Puppy, come. Puppy, come. She my buy the dog? All right, I just got a refill of chicken net, deep fried, of course, and pork liver. Wow. The, the liver, it's been deep fried so much, and the outside's like hard. It almost doesn't even have that liver taste and texture that I usually, usually dislike. It's quite edible. Chicken neck. I think it's mostly breading. Hi, my name is Jesse and I'm on an adventurous quest to face all my fears and learn as many skills as possible. 